Today we've got new Callaway golf balls, the Chrome Soft X and Chrome Soft X LS from 2022. Thomas will test them both out. We'll see what the TrackMan tells us is the difference. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today, Thomas, we got golf balls to test. New from Callaway, the Chrome Soft X and Chrome Soft X LS, the 2022 versions. Um, they've made some changes, some updates to improve performance, uh, and there also is a Chrome Soft version as well. Uh, so there's three actually Chrome Soft golf balls, the, the standard, the X, the XLS. Uh, for your sake, the X and the XLS are probably a little bit more up your alley. Uh, so the today's head-to-head -head test will feature those two versions. Um, you've played Callaway Chrome Soft golf balls in the past. Um, you know, what do you think, what have you seen from those in the past, and maybe what do you think we'll see with the new versions here? Yeah, I've played the Chrome Soft X the last couple of years. I'm going to play one of these two balls in 2022. So we got initially got some golf balls here to test with. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have the, the marketing on the boxes yet. There's yeah, just yeah. white boxes, which is always fun when you get testers here to mm -hmm. test the balls and see how they compare. But um, I've, I've seen a really increase in the performance in the Kelly Golf Ball over the last two, three mm -hmm. years. I think we've seen, um, I guess, it's just they're being constructed better. I think they do an extra, extra time, spend more time looking at every single golf yeah. ball and seeing how they will perform. Um, I'm excited to see how they perform. I mean, number one golfer in, golfer in the world, has been playing the golf ball, yeah, and, and that right. helps, you know, seeing that you know, Callaway's performing, golf ball's performing really well. But the ChromeSoft XLS intrigues me. I played a couple of rounds with it in 2021 with the, with the previous model, but I'm excited to see how the 2022 model yeah, performs because who face this face it who want, doesn't want it to pull further? Right, and I think that's the goal with the XLS is to provide, you know, I mean, it's a lower spinning ball, and so is a Chrome Soft X. But I think this takes that, especially a long game spin, to kind of another level. Uh, in terms of technology with these golf balls, uh, they had that that soft fast core in the previous models. They've kind of improved that now, a hyper elastic soft fast core inside the golf balls. Um, and then a new tour aero design. Again, aerodynamics, huge golf balls. Um, they've always had that, like the hexagonal thing they've had on the Cali balls for I think over a decade now. Yep. And they've kind of fine tuned that e year over year. So that's also featured. And then of course, you can also get these balls with triple track technology, uh, which is that the three lines that we've talked over the last couple of years, you've seen them on Callaway balls and the putters now. Alignment is so key. And so on the greens when you're uh, lining up putts, that triple track technology, uh, as you're, f if you're familiar with, um, can be a big help. But the big difference with these two is just going to be really long game spin. So drivers, long irons, mid irons. That XLS should have lower spin, but I think we'll validate that with TrackMan today. Yeah, and that's what this test is about, is this is seeing with that long game, does that LS golf ball spin less? Mm -hmm. Does it go further? Does it have faster ball speed? Or are we going to see any other differences between yeah. these golf And balls? sometimes that lower spin, is, I mean, it, while you get more distance, it might not be an advantage because there could be a problem holding greens if you're talking about a long iron trying to get on the green, things like that. So we'll test all that out. We've got TrackMan here. We've got you to hit the shots and provide feedback. Ready to get started? Yeah, let's hit some seven irons and some drivers. So Thomas, how are we getting started today here with this test? Well, let's, uh, let's actually take alternate shots this, this time around. So okay. we've got the Chrome Soft X, we've got the Chrome Soft X LS. We'll hit one shot and then come back to okay. another one. You always have to remember to change the tags yeah, I'll around be, every, I'll every change every the TrackMan tag. But. And then we'll hit five or six shots with the seven iron. We'll take a look at the numbers to see if there's any difference. And then we'll hit some uh, drivers. Okay, let's do it. Start with the X. Smoke too. Oh, yeah, that's a good ball. That wasn't better. open. Speed, speed right there. What the? So, Thomas, that's 10 shots total, five with each golf ball. And 
I think we're seeing a trend here start to emerge. And one thing I'm also noticing is I know that your seven iron distance carry is 180 usually. You're averaging an, a, quite a bit more than that right now with these golf balls. I'm hitting it pretty well. I'm compressing mm -hmm. the ball well, and the balls are, s are spinning pretty yeah. low. Uh, do me a favor though. So there's two shots there that I left the face open mm -hmm. on. I just want you to take those two out right, right this, this moment, just completely with, uh, out. With the chrome top Because back, people right? will say, well, he left the face open on, on that shot. Um, so I want to just get, get those out just for, for looking at the numbers. And now just kind of look at the averages and see. You yeah. can see over on the right, it's grayed out. So We're talking about 400 RPMs more spin with yeah. the X than the LS. Yeah, and that, and you know, I think it was only really a hundred difference, hundred RPM difference with those face open shots. Yeah. Um, so, because what's happening is, you know, we always say on the channel, if you turn one over, you draw it more, it should spin less. Um, but the furthest left shot of the day here was actually Chrome Stop Dex here, and it spun 53.22. Right. Whereas these ones that were left over here, 46, 71, 47, 19, 48, 83, you only had one shot over 5,000 RPM. Right. I didn't have any under 5,000. If you look at all the Chrome Soft X shots, mm -hmm. even looking at the ones that are grayed out, very yeah. consistently around about right that there. 53 to 5,400 mm -hmm. RPMs. Yeah. So there's definitely that trend there of the drop spin in the LS version with seven iron. I think we can pretty clearly draw that conclusion here. Um, and then the interesting thing now too, I was, uh, what I was alluding to is you have about 10 yards ish, eight to 10 yards probably is what I'm going to go with here on your kind of stoppage power here, um, which can become a problem, you know, trying to hold greens again. I, I think you have enough speed. You're generating enough height here where it's not a big, issue right but if you get to f five iron four iron that's where a, a low spin ball could become a problem and then the x would have the advantage i would say uh based on this comparison here yeah it's i mean it's clear that the chrome soft x ls spins less mm -hmm. even the attack angle was steeper with the chrome soft x ls than the chrome soft yeah, and it true. spun less mm -hmm. so yeah. Everything is pointing, even with, with the shots taken out, when the face angle is open, even the shots looking right. at the attack angle, there, there's, there's you know, enough conclusive evidence yeah. there to say, yes, the ball spins less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you were flushing both uh, golf balls for what it's worth. One, four, three smash average with both. Um, so now driver, do we expect that difference? Because we had about 400 RPM on, I mean, it was about 500 with all the shots. We took out those two right ones, it's about 400. Um, do we expect the difference to be that big with driver or maybe not? I think that would be a lot. Yeah, it, it would be. I mean, knowing this that I already, here. knowing my spin numbers with driver are yeah. already pushing the low 2000s or even the, or even less the high, that. you know, high 1000s. Yeah. I mean, if I lost 400 RPMs to spin, right. that would be. I'm interested yeah. because I know you spin the ball sometimes below 2000, sometimes it's barely over 2000. So dropping it down to the 15, 1600 range would be pretty drastic. So. We'll see. I would anticipate it not being that big of a difference, but I, I, I don't have any evidence really to support that. So well, let's, let's take out. a look. Good swing. Good swing. That's the X. Ooh, a little bit more speed. That launched a little lower, it seemed like. I mean, that's probably going to be italicized, but it's so bad. Oh, <sighs> hey, fine. Yeah. So, Thomas, I did want to ask you about the feel. Is there a field difference? I mean, I know the materials, the construction, it's all very, very similar. So is there a field difference at all or no? I noticed it a little bit more with the iron than I did with the driver. I got a little bit more feedback. It just okay. felt just a touch sh softer with the iron, with the Chrome Soft X than okay. the LS. LS is just a little bit firmer. Firmer, yeah. okay. Interesting. I didn't really notice it with the driver though. Okay. Yeah. And I guess at that speed, it's tough to really notice something like that. Um, yeah. 
OK. Here's our dispersion pattern. It's interesting that there is a bit of a left and right. Um, I don't know if that's coincidence or if that's how you're swinging it. We can maybe look at those numbers. But we do see a difference in spin. It's about 100 RPM, right? 2026, 20, 2113 is our spin difference after five shots with each. And again, you were alternating between um, each ball for each shot. So yep. um, there's nothing in terms of you know, warmed up for the, the second five, but not the first five, or whatever the case right. might be. Um, so I think it's important there to know. I mean, my attack angle was basically the same, yep. 6.9, 6.7. Uh, landing angle about the same, height about the same. Um, the only difference was I was leaving the face a little bit more open on those particular Chrome Soft XLS shots. Yep. But would notice this ball was actually spinning still just a little bit less. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it that's does actually something to note is that you're missing right, which we've talked about and we had just had just said, you know, in most of the time shots out to the right for a right handed golfer spin a little bit more for, than shots out to the left. But the Chrome Soft X was missing left for you and still spinning more than the XLS was. Yeah. So the conclusion is it does spin less. Um, there was yeah. one shot with the Chrome Soft X that I had a that was more probably my, my tech angle was a little higher. I got a little high toe and the spin mm -hmm. rate was lower. Actually, I think that was the, this one here. Yeah. So, you know, we could actually, just for the sake but of it. But if that one was taken out, I think you would notice that, that everything else was, you know, significantly higher with yeah. regard to the, the spin. So that we can see, yeah, you jump up, you know, 250 RPM and spin then. Yeah. They've taken that one out. That was a toe, you know, off the toe, knuckleball effect. You had 1400 RPM on the spin on that one. You take yeah. that out suddenly that difference becomes a little bit more clear. So, you know, and, and then the, the question for your game then is, I think an LS golf ball for someone that has speed probably going to give you more distance, right? I mean, we see that here. There's an extra 10 yards of carry in total um, just by a, a golf ball that spins a little bit less. Um, and then on the flip side, as we talked about, those approach shots with longer irons, you know, there might be that... Um, you know, we lose some of that stopping power, might not be able to hold the green as efficiently. So that's the give and take, but you know, when you're trying to decide between these two golf balls that you might have to consider. Yeah, the important piece to notice, note there is what, what you mentioned is if a golfers that have speed. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't have speed, playing the low spin ball probably right. isn't, the, isn't the best option. Yeah. It's gonna be for the high speed golfers mm -hmm. um, that need to reduce that spin rate down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or, you know, there might be a player with moderate speed but really takes the steep attack angle and generates spin. But I think most of the time, you know, if we're talking about a player that is, well, also serious about their game and making this decision, um, it is someone that has some speed. But I think this is a good test. It does show, and uh, not that we would doubt Callaway or anything like that about their LS golf ball, but I think there certainly so is that difference. You know, we're getting about three to 400 RPM difference with a seven iron and then about 100 to 200 RPM difference with the driver. And that can be significant in determining and depending on what you are trying to get out of your game. So Thomas, thanks for joining, hitting the shots, providing your feedback. A uh, couple of great golf balls for 2022, the Chrome Soft X and the Chrome Soft X LS from Callaway. Um, if you're interested, stop into a Second Swing store. And of course, every time you do a fitting at Second Swing as well, make sure you talk to a fitter about a ball fitting. And uh, one of our experts will help you uh, dissect the golf ball that you need for your game. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video as well. We'll see you next time.